Hey guys, in this video training, I'm going to show you how to put together a guide to an entire business functions and operations that's chat GPT assisted that will really help when it comes to building out business documentation. When you have a fast growth business, one of the things that you want to do with anyone that comes into the company is to have everyone have a clear and precise understanding of the overall business operations the flow of how the inquiries come in, what we do when the inquiries come in, what the sales negotiation and closing deal process looks like, what happens with onboarding, and then subsequent to onboarding, giving the team a sense of the delivery in context of the overall vision, mission, and direction of the company. This is a really great place for anyone within the company to start because they'll get a broader sense of everything that's happening before they may more tactically go into each of their positions. So producing documentation like that is going to be a much more effective way to rapidly onboard people. So to give you an example of something that I have already built out for one of our businesses, and you'll, you'll see and you'll get a sense of it now, we've got a repair company, as you can see, Pearl Lemon Repairs Business Bible. And as you'll see in here, as we go through it just to and this is this is not the finished article but it should help give you a sense of what we're trying to communicate that we've got the company background here we've got the future in terms of what we're doing and where we're going and the business opportunity if you will then we go into the examples of some of the work that we do so people get a sense of the actual work and it continues the business operations and expansion then we look at our payments, how we actually charge our clients and how the sales process works in that respect. So the payment timelines, subcontractor payments. And then we go into how we generate leads as a business. Then we talk about how communication happens once leads come in. As you can see, very simply, we have a platform that we buy leads from. We talk to these, pro these prospects on WhatsApp. Then we talk about the ultimately conversion rate. And then we talk about how the work is delivered if a deal is closed. So then we have subcontractor, how we find subcontractors. Then we've got what happens once ultimately the job is done and what we're trying to do. So as you can see, and this is this is a still very much a work in process. Then we've got the actual sales training that starts, how we run the sales using chat GPT and what response times and voice notes and ultimately how we coordinate jobs. So, so as you can see, it continues and there's a, there's a lot that happens. So it's a, it's a bit of an intense document, but it gives people a much better sense of what it is that's happening within the company. So we want to build something like this for our catering side of the business because it's growing. We got, how many leads did we have coming yesterday, Johnny? Eight. Yeah, eight. We had eight inquiries come in in one day and we will probably get to a stage where that will become more consistent as we're aggressively growing on the SEO side of it in terms of how, how leads come in. So with that in mind, what, are, what, what you can begin to do is wrap together different pieces of documentation. So if we now go to, so this is what, what I do is what you want to do is grab different pieces of information from different segments of the business, because if the business is already running, there will be things that exist. So what I'm doing right now is going to one of our biggest clients that we had historically, and the order in the beginning doesn't matter as much, but it, it, it is useful to build it in order of business operations. But what I'm doing is, as you can see, we've got ingredients quote here, so I'll, I'll go ahead and refresh your page because I think it may have errored. So we'll just go ahead and reopen it. As you can see, it's a former client of ours, Hot Pickle. Go ahead and just close these out. If my internet works for me. Can you guys still hear me okay? It's fine. Okay, all right. Let's try it the other way. Let's go. Let's do that. Ah, as we can see, we've already got the PDF saved here, actually. So we've got the ingredient ingredients quote, hot, hot pickle. So we've got that there. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the email account again. And what I'm going to do is because this was this was a 70,000 pound job, but it gives a really good indication of, and we did several jobs with them, and it gives a good sense of what's involved. So if we then go to Here is the actual original quote documentation. So we'll go ahead and pull this out also. What you're going to do is essentially feed multiple documents to ChatGPT to put together a process just based upon, for example, one client, which will stand, as you can see, the, the, the budget initially was £37,000. So hot pickle initial proposal. 
So we have that now also. And then we'll continue. And we've got the initial proposal. And then if we have a look, we had an ingredients quote. And then there was something separate for a pop-up that we had. We'll go ahead and we'll grab that also. So law pop-up second event. So we have that also. Um, and let's just see if we've got any other ultimately long email trails. Here we go. We've got 45 emails here. So um, this is already going to be a, a, a decent amount of, of, of information that we can use to extrapolate some really good insight about how to build quotes and how to negotiate on email with clients. So let's just export this also in parallel what we'll do while that's loading we'll pull open chat gpt and close all of this out let's have a look if that's loading for me it's probably a big old document so it'll take a minute but already what we can do is go to here all right here we go law pop-up second event let me just see if In your window. Ah, okay. Probably didn't press the right button. So here we go. So we've got that now, and we've got law event delivery, maybe. Okay, cool. So we've got three documents now. So what we'll do now is put this into Chat GPT and we'll do uh, initial proposal. Based upon this document, can you put together a step-by-step -step guide for someone who's looking to quote a potential prospect over email what to do on the basis of what you can see in this email thread? This is for the company called Pearl M & Catering. We are a catering company that delivers events in London as well as across capital cities in Europe. So we want to do it one at a time because then you can build more robust answers from ChatGPT. So then what we do is we go to doc new and we will begin building stuff out in chat gpt so um now as you can see it's giving a really detailed step-by-step -step guide that will be quite useful in terms of understanding structure so we'll do this Cool. So we've got that now. So what we'll do now is we're going to the next one. Uh, so that was the initial proposal. Um, now, based upon this next email thread I'm giving you, put together a step-by-step -step guide about how to quote and negotiate and have communication around quotes for specific ingredients for an event. It's just beginning to make some more sense now, Johnny, as to why this will then present a much more granular guide for someone coming in. It's a lot more information, but it's a lot more tactical now with examples for everything. Um, Cool. So now, and, and, and guys, you just you just keep going down. And, and this is why I upload documents one at a time, because ChatGPT has a limitation of how much information it's able to process. So you get a much better quality of answer if you put them through one at a time. So we've done the ingredients, we've done the initial proposal. Uh, and then we've got the event delivery, which is interesting. Um, let me just double check if I open that itself myself and have a look at what that actually pertains to, to make sure it is event delivery. Yeah, cool. Now, based upon this PDF, put together a guide for how to then 
do preparation from a logistics standpoint for an event. So this would be a guide to logistics management post onboarding or once a client says yes. Think of a more simpler title to explain what I'm trying to communicate and put together a detailed guide. So see what it says now. Guide to events logistics. Um, yeah, fine. This is probably going to help you as well, Johnny. There's probably stuff here. You're like, oh, okay. This is how this shit works. So guys, for those of you who are watching, the more examples you can give ChatGPT, you can build fucking really good guides that are way more detailed um, than what you currently have. To include ourselves, by the way, I've looked at our sales documentation or business documentation, and it's never going to be as detailed as this where we're giving examples and quotes and, and different bits and bobs. So, 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 so that's why um, that's there. And then we've got a second event. What is this for? Um, bartenders. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, okay, so fine. So let's just continue now to, uh, let me get to there. So what we'll do now is second event. Based upon the PDF that I'm giving you now, please also give me some more insights for uh, a second example of quoting for an event here with and, and and specify any notable differences between the first example. So do that. And now while we're doing that, what we do also, we go to YouTube because we also have calls for this prospect. So now I can feed on course chat GPT the calls. So if I go to hot pickle and we can just take a look. Hot pickle. Yeah, fine. So we've got one, and we've got. I will. I will just mute when she when I'm not speaking. Okay, cool. I'll let I'll let her in right now. Okay. Cool. So this is a year ago. So what we do, again, because chat. So some people will put copy and paste the transcript straight into Chat GPT. Don't. Chat GPT has a character count limit when you copy and paste stuff in. So it'll only copy the first five, 10 minutes and then it'll stop. So law calls with hot pickle. So this was uh, one year ago. That is one year ago, but it's 1st of November. And then that's the 3rd of November. So it's probably back of house call. Um, and then that's the law event. Okay, fine. We'll just add both in there to be honest with you because I'm not sure what they were for. That's 3502. I'm feeling I've copied the same one twice. Uh, 3502. Yeah, I have. It's 3502. 4440. Here we go. Okay, cool, 44. All right, great, download doc. Connect that both from computer. Based upon these two call transcripts, put together a guide, a step-by-step -step guide to managing uh, event logistics on a call with the client, a guide to success for account managers within catering, as well as sales managers. So the book. This is the stuff that I wish I'd built for you, Johnny, <laughs> when you started. <laughs> A bit nice. Yeah, cool. Um, all right, great. So for those of you who are watching, build documentation like this and whenever you have a business that you will be able to build guides for almost anything because all of the information is either in here or there's data points that exist so you've got whatsapp chats you've got voice notes you've got so you've got the chat to txt files which is when you export a file there'll be all the text and then it converts into opus files so there's a little bit of more work to do there but in its simplest stages what you want to do is just to begin to build out documentation and then of course 
copy and paste it into a doc and try and logically logically sequence it so that you can begin to have ultimately guidelines for every aspect of the actual pitch and 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 and, and of course let me just have a look uh, let's also do uh ah oh, what's what's the name of the event company uh one second Emma, here we go. Spring Studios, they were the company that originally bought us this job. So, Spring Studios, series of events for a high coffee brand. This is the, the job that ended up being £70,000. Here we go. Yeah, cool. So then um, training details. Cool. All right, fine. Keep going. Opening a call. So guys, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of wrap it up here, but this is the foundations of how to really build a detailed documentation that'll be useful for you, Chi Chi, of course, as you can begin to really understand how the business works and have detailed examples for every aspect of the business. And then what you'll do uh, for those of you who are watching is this is a training video, obviously, not obviously, but sometimes there'll be different stakeholders that manage different aspects of the business. So you'll benefit from, if you're building these documents, mapping out every segment of the business and then feeding chat gpt ultimately data per segment because then you can build individual guides that relate to everything so then there's the business vision and mission there's the way that the leads are acquired there's a lead management process then there's the actual sales calls themselves then there's the post negotiation following the initial sale then there's how the payment terms work then there's the client onboarding etc cetera, etc cetera. and once you map out these spaces which are typically tend to be quite Similar in any service-based environment, the things that I'm saying, once you've got that map in your head, you can begin building documentation per data point. And then having something like this is much, much more powerful for anyone who's coming into that business to say, hey, help me understand the business. So any questions, Chi Chi and John, before I wrap up this impromptu video training? Up and out. All good. I'll ask Lydia to, to show also so export some WhatsApp groups. So and chat. So I can also include that. Might be useful because a lot of the conversations, at least the ones I have, happen on on WhatsApp. Yeah. And I'll just keep building on it. To be honest. Yeah. Cool. All right. Amazing. Any questions for you, Chichi? Um. No, not a question, but rather I didn't know that you could use Chat GT GPT on such a vast level like that. So I'm really interested to also just get that into use. Yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll learn a lot. We we uh, you'll learn a lot about how we use Chat GPT at Parlem, and we use it heavily. And it's it's great. We use it for every aspect of the business. So uh, great. Look, thank you guys. And for those of you watching, I hope this was useful.